In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Copilot, its generative AI engine, to summarize an article or a web page. I'm in Microsoft Edge, so I can get to Copilot by clicking on this little button here. I'm going to close it for the moment until I find an article. So I'm going to look for a peer-reviewed article on the library website about salmon farming. And once I get my results, I can select an article. I'm interested in this one. Co-occurrence between salmon farming, alien American mink, and endangered otters in Patagonia. I'll click on the PDF. And then what I need to do is I need to download that PDF. So I'm going to download that PDF and just give it a name. Okay, let me pull this over so you can see this and I'll save that. Now what I need to do is I need to open the file in Microsoft Edge. If I click right here, it may not work right. So what I need to do is I'll go to the folder that contains that PDF document and I'll right click on it and I will say open with down here. So I'm going to open with the Edge browser. Okay. All right, so now I have my article open in the <clears throat> Edge browser. I can open up Copilot here. And in the past, I've talked about these different conversation styles, more precise, more balanced, or more creative. More creative and more precise not only give you access to the uh, chat GPT 4.0 engine, they have a live connection to the internet. More balanced only uses the AI engine. So. In this particular situation, I don't want it to go out on the web and find other information related to this article. So I've selected the more balanced option. Now what I can do is I can say, please summarize the page. And the page refers to this article right here in five bullet points. The other thing I could do is let's say that I'm kind of struggling with the scientific language. I could tell it to, um, let's go ahead and say, for a 10th grade reading level. So what I'm doing is I'm asking it to not only summarize the article, but I'm asking it to change the reading level. Maybe I, as I mentioned before, I'm struggling with some of the scientific language, or I might be a, uh, English might be my second language. Okay, so there it's done it. It's generated me five bullet points. And it's even told me where it's pulled the information from within the article, it'll highlight it. One thing to be aware of is that the AI will come up with five uh, things that it thinks are the most important things in terms of the summary. However, it's always important to read the article and to check it because what the AI thinks are the five things that are most important to the summary may not be the same things that you think. Okay, so there is an example of how to uh, download an article and you summarize it using Copilot. You can do the same thing with a web page. So let's say now that I want to go to the CDC website, the Centers for Disease Control, and let's look at one of these uh, health topics, A to Z. And let's, uh, I've never heard of this one. Uh, I can't even spell it. Um, so this is parasites, acanthamoeba. Maybe you can pronounce that better than I can. Now, because this is a different topic than this topic, I don't want to continue in this window because the chat will remember the things that I've talked with previous, that I've talked about previously. What I want to do is a brand new chat because it's a new subject. So I'll click on new topic. And again, I'm going to stay with more balanced because I only want it to summarize this web page. I don't want it to pull information from other places on the web. So I'll do the same thing. I'll say, please summarize the page in five bullet points for someone who doesn't speak English as 
their first language. And let's see how it does. Okay, so it's begun to uh, generate our results. It always summarizes uh, what you've asked it to do. And sometimes uh, it's faster or slower depending on your internet connection or how busy the copilot is from the number of users that are accessing it at any given time. All right, so there we have our five bullet points again. So here, this brief tutorial has showed you how to use Copilot to summarize information on the web and also specific articles. If you had a Microsoft Word document that you wanted it to summarize, you could turn that into a PDF and then open it in the Edge browser. 